What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Goran and in this channel I talk all about reefing hobby. In my last video I talked about fundamentals taking care of acropores. If you guys missed that video, go and check it out. It's gonna help you a lot for taking care of acropores. But today I'm gonna talk about lighting, the things I missed when I was purchasing my lighting for my acropores. If you guys don't really care about acropores or any 3D corals out there like digitatas and acropores, you can skip this video completely. If you do like those 3D corals, you're gonna wanna stick around around and listen what I have to say. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat what you have to know when picking your LEDs and after that I'm gonna kind of go over my story and how I kind of learned through my mistakes and what I missed when I was purchasing my lighting. If you're searching for that perfect LED lighting for your tank don't consider just par, spread, all those things are great but in my opinion it's very important where the lighting is coming from. Acropores like to be surrounded with lighting. What I mean by that, if you had an acropora that's underneath one fixture, that acropora won't be as happy as it will be if it's between two, three, or four lighting fixtures. Of course, here I'm talking about small LED lighting. If you have big LED panels or if you have large T5 fixture or metal halides, this won't apply to you. But again, even when I go and see all those Acropora farmers, I see that they have added extra LEDs, T5s on the side on top of those big fixtures. So what are you looking to do? is basically just fill that top of the tank with lighting as much as you can. Of course, the more length and width your tank has, the more you can have space to cover that top completely and your acroporas and all other 3D corals will appreciate that a lot. One other thing about substrate I wanted to talk about is that white sand will reflect the lighting way better than any dark sand out there. The more you keep that sand nice and pristine, the more it's gonna reflect that lighting back underneath those corals. Lots of folks have grow out tubs and some of them are black and some of them are white. I went to visit cherry corals, that's what they told me. They have white tubs just cause they're growing corals. For instance, when you go to frag swaps, you're gonna see the black acrates and black bottom of the tank since corals look the best when they have black background. But the white background helps a lot with reflecting that lighting. Plenty of tanks these days have the back glass panel painted black which makes our corals pop and stand out, but the black color actually doesn't have reflective properties as your regular glass panel that it's not painted. When I started reefing, I did lots of research, which lighting should I get? And when I was looking at the PAR and the lighting coverage, that kind of took me to the different path instead of me looking how to cover that tank completely. Back then, I didn't really know that acroporas like to be surrounded with lighting. Since we're humans and we make mistakes, I'm not talking just about the beginners, I'm talking about folks that have been in the hobby for a while as well, we all make mistakes. We'll forget to look in our dosing containers and our dosing pops and all calcium reactors. Sometimes we miss some testing. Things just go out of balance. When that happens, all those 3D corals will start suffering, especially on those areas where they're shaded. When you have a coral that's around with lighting and it has lots of flow all around it you're gonna have a very more healthier and robust colony that's gonna take those swings when they happen way more easier compared to a coral that it's really shaded it doesn't have enough flow that coral is gonna suffer way more than coral that has adequate lighting so that's what I noticed in my tank when I started this tank I had just LEDs on it after that when I see what is going on I added extra t5s on a side and then added extra flow in this tank and ever since if I have any swing in my tank as far as alkalinity or phosphates or anything like that those corals are way more robust they're way healthier of a colony and they tend not to RTN and STN as much. If you're looking to go a little bit cheaper as far as lighting goes for your acroporas, I believe there's still an Amazon's affordable T5 fixtures. I'm gonna try to find them and link them down below. With that out of the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. If you're not part of Reef on the Roof crew, subscribe, give this video a like, and see you guys in the next video.